here at Lars. I am actually on the road today headed to Port Washington, Wisconsin. We've got an upcoming event at the beginning of October. And I want to give you guys a little bit extra look at one of the things that we do to help spread the word about exotic birds and reptiles. If you guys are looking to learn a little bit more, definitely stay tuned and remember to hit that subscribe button. Typically when I get out into the community and especially when we're doing a large community event, I want to be able to see the kind of space that we have. The reason for that is because I want to know what animals we're going to be able to bring with us to this community event. So uh, one of the big things that I asked uh, Port Washington for this particular event is if we were going to be able to have a grassy area. The reason for that is because we love bringing out our sulcata tortoise, Miss T, and uh, she likes to mow on the grass all during our presentations uh, in the community for these community events. And um, people just get a huge kick out of her. Port Washington is probably one of my more favorite places to visit in the state of Wisconsin. I have some memories here from when I was a kid. Everyone here has been so welcoming and so supportive of everything that our organization is doing and really supports us getting out into the community. So uh, the sun is going to be setting pretty soon, but I am told that it is a quick two minute walk from the heart of the harbor in Port Washington to the uh, place where we're going to be setting up so let's go check it out all right guys here i am in the heart of the harbor in port washington so i'm just going to flip the camera around because i want to show you guys how awesome this place is This is actually one of the many reasons why I absolutely love Port Washington because they have all of these historic markers all over the place. And on a personal note, I am actually a huge fan of the Great Lakes and Lake Michigan. So that's even cooler because we're located in Sheboygan County, Wisconsin. <laughs> that is down here as we are getting ready for this big uh, festival that's coming up here and I was just told that this is the only place in the Midwest that has a mural like I would like to show you this is the Midwest mural mosaic and guys this is literally made out of tiles so when you're coming into downtown Port Washington you're gonna look for this mural and you're gonna take a left all right guys this is the spot so we kind of walked through from the heart of the harbor we're gonna be right down here looking up this wonderful sunshiny street so come on down and see us and the event that we're going to be doing is Fall Street Festival in Port Washington. So uh, now I have kind of a lay in land and I have uh, a grassy spot for Miss T and we're going to put everything together and we're going to be kind of in the family area. 
and we're gonna have a really great time. Can't wait to see you guys. I am here with Martin, who is part of Port Washington Main Street, and uh, he is gonna tell you a little bit more about this event that's coming up, the Fall Street Festival. Hey everybody, Port Washington Main Street again is hosting its Fall Street Festival. We're so excited. We've got three live band stages, a car show, motorcycle show, family friendly area, pumpkin and gore decorating, face painting, a lot of our Port Washington Main Street businesses will be doing food and drink specials. It's a great day to come out, celebrate the fall, have fun in our vibrant, historic downtown area, and uh, just have a great time with your family and friends. Yeah, and Martin, thank you so much for inviting us to come down here. We really absolutely love the fact that we get to take place in some of the wonderful events going on down here in Port Washington. So now I know exactly where we are going to be setting up. I am going to be headed back to Sheboygan. So Fall Street Festival, uh, which takes place in downtown Port Washington, is uh, happening on October 7th. And we are going to be there from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And um, we're really looking forward to it. But guys, this is a bunch of stuff that goes into planning an event like this and being at an event like this. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of pre-planning. We're so thankful for the people who are helping to organize this event. And uh, so now we'll go back to the rescue and we will do our own planning and uh, figure out, you know, exactly how many volunteers we're going to have with us at the event. And we're going to be figuring out which animals we're able to bring with us. Uh, we do have access to electricity at this event. So that is really awesome. That really allows us to bring more animals to the event uh, with us than we would otherwise be able to do so. A lot of times what allows us to be able to do events like this is the connections that we make when we are out in the community and that is why it is important for us to get out in the community to be able to spread the word about what we're doing at the rescue, spread the word about the exotic birds and reptiles that we're taking care of and to be able to uh, give back and uh, help out um, you know like Port Washington during this event and uh, you know we do regular presentations all around the state of Wisconsin uh, we do libraries we do uh, churches and schools and nursing homes and assisted living facilities birthday parties Boy Scout troops Girl Scout troops we really do a whole plethora of different activities out in the community, private events, public events, and uh, we really, really just want to be able to share with people what we are doing with the exotic birds and reptiles and uh, the work that we do and the knowledge that we have in case anyone is interested in adopting a bird or a reptile and they kind of just don't know where to start. That's one of the reasons why we get out into the community is because we can have those conversations about what it takes to take care of an exotic animal. This is kind of like what we do. This is how we roll. This is how we uh, raise money and awareness for the organization um, you know and I'll tell you guys too we have one um, part-time employee she's very very part-time my position is volunteer I have a plethora of other volunteers that come and help us at the rescue help us to do these community events um, I want to share with you guys exactly how much it is true that it truly takes a village. There is not any money in rescue. I have a full-time job on top of what I do and uh, we just make it work. We're, we're doing this because we have a passion for the exotic birds and reptiles that we care for and a passion for spreading the word about it and also a passion for, you know, um, raising money for what we are doing. Every single dollar that you guys donate goes right back into the rescue, right back into the animals, and right back into helping us continue to do the work that we do. So, um, you know, just another aspect of our hashtag rescue life. So, um, I appreciate you guys watching this video so very much. 
and I hope that you guys all have a spectacular day and join us at Fall Street Festival in downtown Fort Washington on October 7th. Take care everyone. Thank you.